Hey everybody, we're back, another edition of Over the Line. I'm Matt, this is John, I'm karate chopping. But more importantly, we're starting off with a great clip of uh, the Philadelphia Phillies have a new ball girl. It's a short clip, short shorts clip, if you will. Yes, that, that, Thank you. that, was, that was excellent. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the, they've, they've enlisted some Hooters girls to, yep. Uh, yep. to run the sidelines and make sure all the foul balls are scooped up. And uh, They're not doing a good job. There's been a couple miscues, uh, and they've done it before. Sometimes it was successful, yeah. other times it wasn't, including the one time a girl you know, fielded a good ball. I remember that one. Good ball, can we call it a good ball? She can field the good balls all she wants. So that happened. Next up, we've got a feisty Toronto Maple Leaf. It's good to see a little feistiness in a player, even though it's coming off the ice. Yeah, on Instagram, Joffrey Lupul getting in a little dust up with, uh, with a guy who's, who's you know, going back and forth yeah. about who knows what. And he challenges them to a fight, a charity fight, mind you, but uh, a fight. And then this comes, yeah. you know, in the wake of, of a lot of controversy, a really bad week for him in terms of, you bad know. Bad week for the Leafs. Yeah, yeah. Just, just a bunch of off-ice distractions. And then Lupul decides to, to check his Instagram and, and, you know, get involved with things that he can, he should probably just ignore. No, yeah, Lupul shouldn't be getting involved in fights. I mean, he's injury prone as it is. He'd break his leg before he even got to the ring. <laughs> Next up, we've got Dustin Penner, an NHL player trying to turn TV analyst because no one wants to hire him, maybe because of rape jokes. Yeah, he uh, he kind of he stubbed his toe a little bit on this one. Yeah, he, was, he, he was set up to be on the, the TSN Trade Center uh, coverage. You know, I'd say an, analyst probably 30 out of 30, so he was kind of the last yeah. guy in. And you know, he, he tweeted out a, a rape joke that you know maybe he didn't mean for it to come off one way, but but it totally did. And yeah. You know, outrage ensued, and all of a sudden he was dropped by TSN, and uh, you know he he was cut kind of last minute, and it's uh, he was cut just like his time in Washington. Cut. <laughs> Finally, we've got a NASCAR heist with Travis Qua Travis Quapel. I got issues with your name number one. Quapel, it should be K V A P I L. There's no W. Anyways, John, explain what happened. Yeah, so his his car was being stored in the parking lot and, and there's video footage, uh, surveillance camera of the suspect walking in casually, you know, grabbing the keys and just, just heading on out with, it, with his car, with his not, it's not, it's a stock car. It's a stock car in the trailer. How do you do that? It's, it's crazy. It's a heist. His car is gone and, heist. and he couldn't race that Sunday. And it was, it was at 5.30 in the morning. Travis Quapel, if that is your last why name. Are you, why are you even up that early? And why don't you just use my Saturn SUV? It can get around the track in about five minutes. And that's it. Another edition of Over the Line in the books. A good edition, John. A solid one indeed. Uh, while we're on the topic of last lanes, before I let you go, John Mattis, no Z. I'm not hearing the Z. You gotta drop the Z. Mattis, IS. I'm glad we worked that out. If you want more of Over the Line, check Sunsights or canoe.ca.